World War II Memorial is a memorial of national significance dedicated to Americans who served in the armed forces and as civilians during World War II. Consisting of 56 pillars, representing U.S. states and territories, and a pair of small triumphal arches for the Atlantic and Pacific theaters, surrounding an oval plaza and fountain, it sits on the National Mall in Washington, D.C., on the former site of the Rainbow Pool at the eastern end of the Reflecting Pool, between the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument. Its initial design was submitted by Austrian-American architect Friedrich Street Florian. Opened on April 29, 2004, it was dedicated by President George W. Bush on May 29, 2004. The memorial is administered by the National Park Service under its National Mall and Memorial Parks Group. More than 4.6 million people visited the memorial in 2018. The memorial consists of 56 granite pillars, each 17 feet 5.2 meters tall, arranged in a semicircle around a plaza with two 43 foot 13 meters. Triumphal arches on opposite sides. Two thirds of the 7.4 acre 3.0 hectares site is landscaping and water. Each pillar is inscribed with the name of one of the 48 U.S. States of 1945, as well as the District of Columbia, the Alaska Territory and Territory of Hawaii, the Commonwealth of the Philippines, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. The northern arch is inscribed with, Atlantic, the southern one, Pacific. In 1987, World War II veteran Roger Durbin approached Representative Marcy Kaptur, a Democrat from Ohio, to ask if a World War II memorial could be constructed. Kaptur introduced the World War II Memorial Act to the House of Representatives as H.R. 3742 on December 10. The resolution authorized the American Battle Monuments Commission ABMC, to establish a World War II memorial in Washington, D.C., or its environs, but the bill was not voted on before the end of the session. In 1989 and 1991, Representative Kaptur introduced similar legislation, but these bills suffered the same fate as the first and did not become law. Kaptur reintroduced legislation in the House a fourth time as H.R. 682 on January 27, 1993, one day after Senator Strom Thurmond, a Republican from South Carolina, introduced companion Senate legislation. On March 17, 1993, the Senate approved the act, and the House approved an amended version of the bill on May 4. On May 12, the Senate also approved the amended bill, and the World War II Memorial Act was signed into law by President Bill Clinton on May 25 of that year, becoming Pub. L. 103-32. On September 30, 1994, President Bill Clinton appointed a 12-member Memorial Advisory Board MAB, to advise the ABMC in picking the site, designing the memorial, and raising money to build it. A direct mail fundraising effort brought in millions of dollars from individual Americans. Additional large donations were made by veterans groups, including the American Legion, the Veterans of Foreign Wars, and Veterans of the Battle of the Bulge. The majority of the corporate fundraising effort was led by two co-chairs, Senator Bob Dole, a decorated World War II veteran and 1996 Republican nominee for president, and Frederick W. Smith, the president and chief executive officer of FedEx Corporation and a former U.S. Marine Corps officer. The U.S. federal government provided about $16 million. A total of $197 million was raised. On January 20, 1995, Colonel Kevin C. Kelly, project manager for the ABMC, organized the first meeting of the ABMC and the MAB, at which the project was discussed and initial plans made. The meeting was chaired by Commissioner F. Hyden Williams, chairman of ABMC's World War II Memorial Site and Design Committee, 
who would go on to guide the project through the site selection and approval process and the selection and approval of the memorial's design. Representatives from the United States Commission of Fine Arts, the National Capital Planning Commission, the National Capital Memorial Commission, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and the National Park Service attended the meeting. The selection of an appropriate site was taken on as the first action. The selection of the Rainbow Pool site was announced on October 5, 1995. The design would incorporate the Rainbow Pool Fountain, located across 17th Street from the Washington Monument and near the Constitution Gardens site. The location, between the Washington Monument and the Lincoln Memorial, is the most prominent spot for a monument on the National Mall since the Lincoln Memorial opened in 1922. It is the first addition in more than 70 years to the Grand Corridor of Open Space that stretches from the capital 2.1 miles 3.4 kilometers west to the Potomac River. A nationwide design competition drew 400 submissions from architects from around the country. Friedrich Street Florian's initial design was selected in 1997. St. Florian's design evokes a classical monument. Under each of the two memorial arches, the Pacific and Atlantic baldachinos, four eagles carry an oak laurel wreath. Each of the 56 pillars bear wreaths of oak symbolizing military and industrial strength, and of wheat, symbolizing agricultural production. Over the next four years, St. Florian's design was altered during the review and approval process required of proposed memorials in Washington, D.C. Ambassador Hayden Williams guided the design development for ABMC. Ground was broken in September 2001. The construction was managed by the General Services Administration. The triumphal arches were crafted by Rock of Ages Corporation. Sculptor Raymond Caskey created the bronze eagles and two wreaths that were installed under the arches, as well as 24 bronze bas-relief panels that depict wartime scenes of combat in the home front. The bronzes were cast over the course of two and a half years at Laron Bronze in Chester, Pennsylvania. The stainless steel armature that holds up the eagles and wreaths was designed at Laron, in part by sculptor James Peniston, and fabricated by Apex Piping of Newport, Delaware. The twin bronze wreaths decorating the 56 granite pillars around the perimeter of the memorial, as well as the 4,048 gold-plated silver stars representing American military deaths in the war, were cast at Bally Bronze in Joseph, Oregon, I'd see buckets full of the stars going through the foundry, and think that each stood for 100 men. The magnitude was overwhelming, Dave Jackman, former president of Bally Bronze, recalled in 2004. The John Stevens shop designed the lettering for the memorial and most of the inscriptions were hand-carved in situ. The memorial opened to the public on April 29, 2004, and was dedicated in a May 29 ceremony attended by thousands of people. The memorial became a unit of the National Park System on November 1, when authority over it was transferred to the National Park Service.